And today I'm going to be bringing you the first review after the update video because in the update video I said I was going to be doing some more unboxings and reviews. So yeah, this is the first thing we're going to be reviewing this year of 2017. So here I've got the Steel Series Nimbus One Scanner Control for iPads and Apple TVs and Mac. Um, I've got the white version which is only available from Apple, but as you can see on the back here it says pressure sensitive D-pad. So I think that's this part it means it's pressure sensitive, which in some games will that will determine how much how much you're pressing down will determine on what happens in the game. It's charged by a lightning connector, which is not included in the box. But if you're buying this, you'll probably have an Apple TV or iPhone, and they come with lightning. So it's basically the charge of your phone, and they come with things. So you should probably have one. They uh, you can play. They say you can play for up to 40 hours, and you get pressure sensitive buttons again. Not sure I like what that price. So it's a hundred dollars. Um. I'm pretty sure it's like that everywhere, but anyway, let's get right into the box. So the unboxing experience is quite nice. It's actually quite similar to the Apple TVs you, and AirPods, I think. So it just slides off nicely like that. Sorry, it cut for some reason then. Um, the box here doesn't look that special. It just has some stuff, some Chinese stuff I don't really know. So this is just that box. And so we can just <coughs> open this part up here like that. And this is this part's very nice. There's like some foamy stuff here. <clears throat> so in the box we just have the controller in here, which is quite nice. And we have the instructions manual, which is pretty self-forward. It's just just that. Put that aside. I already know how to connect it because since I've actually already been using this for about a month, I just put it back in the box because it was a pretty simple unboxing. But yeah, here's the controller. It is. The, let's just put the box aside. It's very nice. Wait, just a second. I'll zoom in a little bit. That's a little bit better so you can see now. So at the back we have your usual triggers. These these ones are actually quite big, but that's fine. These ones still very feel very nice to touch. You've got your whatever this is the on and off button. I'm not sure why it says hold your lightning pull and the Bluetooth button. So back to this side. This is the pressure sensitive D-pad. You can't really feel any pressure, but they track your pressure. You've got these ones, which unfortunately aren't clickable, but that doesn't really matter. But yeah, they're nice. The menu button, which is used to control Apple TV and is pause in most games. And this one, which I think these cross buttons, which I'm pretty sure are pressure sensitive as well. Now, Similar size to an Xbox controller, it's a bit larger than a PlayStation controller, and to the Wii U Pro controller, I think it's similar sizing. But yeah, so the pairing is quite simple. I'll just get my iPad now so I can yeah, show I have you. My iPad now, the controller is here, so we're gonna push this button here, and we're going to oops, yep. And these lights are just gonna flash side to side. It's probably gonna connect to my phone, I think it has, unless it, yeah. So here, what we have to do is Hold down this for I think three seconds until the lights start going like that, flashing. And then it should come out. Oh, I've already connected before, so I'm just going to press Nimbus. So it's going to connect. So just wait for that. And now it's connected. As you can see, that one light is on. So there are many games, but first you have to install the Nimbus app. So I've got it somewhere. You have to install this app, and that's just, just a list of games and updates for the controller. So mine's updated because I haven't got it so long, just help and all that. I don't, you don't really need the app, but I just got it, just because I got it, and what are you doing? Okay, so let's play some games. So the first game we're going to be playing is Minecraft, so let's get into that. Okay, I'm just going to show you what it is, guys. So you can see, you can use the controls to scroll through. A is to select, B is whatever. They got the cards a bit wrong, but that doesn't really matter. So if we just press play and... um. Yeah, I made a world for testing your controller, so let's close that world by pressing A. So I just wait for that. So we can have a quick look again, and I am... Um, so the controls are very smooth, they're not very laggy, see if I do that. So that's pretty good. Um, this might depend on the game. Or, and so if I just move back a bit, 
see I can similar to um console versions of the game you use these buttons to I'll oh, show you these buttons to scroll through the back thing whatever it is hot bar the back triggers um L2 I think is to place things and L the other one is to break things so and I think if you get like this we can go and place some and B is to sneak and A is to jump and fly and that stuff. X and Y. Y is to open the inventory. Um, so if we get that and we um, think, so if we use this trigger, we can blow things up. So that's how Minecraft works, and it's pretty good. Um, I tried playing survival games the other day, and it was it made life a lot easier having the controller. Um, so yeah, that's Minecraft. Let's test another game. Next game we're testing, if you can guess, or if you can't, it's Real Racing 3. So unfortunately, can't, there's no um, gyroscope, so you have to use these controls. But this is Accelerate, this is Brake, and I think this one's turning in. Yeah, I'll just, this one will be a time up, so yeah, see you back then. Stop recording there, but if I'm just going to show you the controls quickly. This cross pad is for like navigating through menus and stuff. The this one's for steering, this is accelerating, that's brake, there, whatever. Um, so I'll show you a quick preview. I'm just going to let a few cars go past quickly. All right, sweet. Oh, I'll go now. So it is a little bit laggy as you can see here, so if I press these it takes a little bit of time to move. So it's in higher intense games like we're racing, it's a little bit the steering is a little bit laggy and the button response is a little bit slow. As you can see let's wait for the see the brakes the brake lights take a bit of time to turn on and the steering is a little bit delayed. See it's so I think you can see that. Um, now let's go on to our final game, being AG Drive. The control doesn't work straight away, but it is to actual racing. So let's just do this one. Uh, it's similar to real racing, but it's less intense fire, so there's not as good graphics. But anyway, let's just see. Three, two. So I'm pretty sure this one. one's accelerate again. Is it? No. What is accelerate? What options? Steering virtual Okay, so it's a bit hard to work what this one is. Um, oh yeah, A is accelerate and this is the steer. So there's not really that much lag in this game. There's actually probably not much lag at all in this game. So I can just go through and I'm pretty sure whatever this is. So I think A is accelerate and B is probably great. So I'm not going to worry about this one. But, um, that might be one of the buttons. Yeah, that one, B did that. X is the brakes, I think. And I'm not sure really. I'm not really sure what the controls are, but it's, there's not much lag in this game. So that's good. Um, so yeah, um, that's my review on the Nimbus... Steel Series Nimbus Wireless Game Controller. It's pretty good. I haven't. I have tested it on Apple TVs before. Uh, I think it's probably mainly for Apple TVs. It's much better responsive, like on games like Real Racing. So yeah, it's um. Overall, I'm gonna give it a. I'm gonna do a star rating, a three and a half out of five. Um, I'm giving it that because its design is very nice. It feels very good quality. It's got good compatibility and it's well it's just a nice controller the reason it's a bit lower is because of its lagginess on ios there's actually other few games that it lags in and sometimes it just doesn't work on mac it just doesn't work at all it does a bit like i found one game and it barely even works so yeah that's the first review so if you enjoyed make sure to drop a like i'm also going to be doing a review on my 
Rhino Shield Crash Guide case soon, so stay tuned for that. And yeah, thanks for watching. See you later.